Okay, well, uh, at Grounds Fest 23, uh, the weather seems to be breaking a little bit and we're on the terrain aeration stand and I'm with Jay Binoff. Jay, Hello. Um, well, proper festival. Yeah, <laughs> we're yeah we've got the weather rain. for it. We're yep. waiting for the mud. Yeah, it's uh, not Glastonbury, think... but it's getting that way. Yeah, and the, the drinking and the, and the uh, music starts later. Yeah. Yep. Um, tell us a little bit about terrain aeration for those people that don't know. What is it that okay, you do? Okay, so, so what we do, we go around all around the country, um, obviously Europe as well. Um, we go into places where they need the ground um, aerating, aerating um, where they've got standing water on top of the ground, um, so they want the water to drain away, basically. So and that's pitches, uh, yeah, football areas. pitches, um, private gardens, um, cricket, you know, um, okay. bowling greens. And you do work around trees as yeah, well. Yeah, we do you? a lot of tree treatment, and we do a lot of that around in the London area where they've been doing um, building building works, um, where the JCBs and stuff they've they've compacted all the soil down. So we go in afterwards and then break up underneath the, the, the ground level, uh, allowing the water to um, drain away. So it's about drainage and yeah, it's about dra turf it's about drainage yeah. and introducing um, sort of oxygen into the roots around trees and stuff like that. So okay, yeah. So you got two machines here, which I think are your own machines that you built and designed in house. Yeah, Is that we correct? manufacture the machines in house. Um, we, we do all the maintenance on them as well. So um, yeah, so it's, it's they're, they're bespoke to us. So okay. we, you know, we, we're the only people that have these. Machines. But you don't sell these. You, uh, you we only don't have sell them. We don't lease them out. We, we, we use them ourselves, and um, so we're, we're the only people that do kind of what we're doing at the moment so okay so we've got two machines here yeah um, should we start with this one or yeah can tell us one. what the differences are yeah so this one this one's a tracker uh, obviously it has the tracks on, on the ground there um which is, is good if you've got to go over kind of a bit of a hills or some steps or something like that um we use this one mainly um on sort of like private gardens yeah um we, it's been designed in a way so this actually fits through a garden gate so we can drive that in there. Okay. Okay. Um, so that that's quite manoeuvrable. It's not. It's, it's one of our smaller ones, if so you like. So this is the actual thing that's going into the ground. Yeah. Is so it? this is a probe. One of the probes that goes into the grounds. Okay. It goes into that bar. Um, obviously, we do have different heights depending on what the customer needs. Um, and then see the holes at the bottom. Yep. Um, that is where air is blasted out okay. at 300 psi. Wow. Okay. But when that air is blasted out, it's also seaweed gets blasted through the holes oh, right, with okay. it. Okay, so that's that kind of. So when we go down, blast the air, it cracks all underneath the ground. Yeah. Uh, makes uh, you know nice fissures in the ground. Yeah. And then the seaweed goes into those fissures and, and keeps that. Uh, that keeps them open. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So that's there to keep it open, not as a nutrient. Um, yes, this is a nutrient as well, but okay. it's, a, it's a little bit like if you had if you had some butter and you cut the butter in half, yeah. you can stick the butter back together again. If you put flour on it, it wouldn't stick together again. So, so it works a little bit like that, okay. if you understand. So it, keep, it keeps it open. Um, and then afterwards, we backfill it with a light tag, which I'll show you afterwards. This is okay. uh, little uh, pellets, really. Okay. Um, they allow the, the water to drain through, but keep the hole open, you know, so, so, so for future use. So it's got one probe. Yep. And you're walking around with it and you do the area that's needed. Yeah. And is, it, yep. is it like a spot treatment or do you do the whole pitch? Or So we, we obviously we, we look at um, which areas need doing. Obviously the customer will let us know which areas they want doing. Um, uh, with this with this machine, we would go sort of uh, two metres apart between each probe and it, it will go out that far. So, um, you know, so that's what we do. We just treat the area that's needed treating. A lot okay. of the time we'll treat kind of everything. So... Um, so this machine here, obviously you've got drive forwards and backwards. You've got, you know, it's like a tank really, so you go yeah. left and right. On the front here, we have all the um, hydraulics, which control this hammer. So if we need to go through some sort of, um, I don't know, hardcore, like off our building site, there's hardcore yeah. under the ground, this, this will penetrate through that oh, right. before um, before we can release the air. I mean, these um, look pretty sturdy times as it goes. Isn't it? Yes, they, they, they're, they're quite a heavy piece of kit, you know, and they're, they're a decent hammer as well. Okay. Um, the air that supplies this, the 300 psi, comes from a separate compressor, which okay. is which is over there. But uh, but that would be run on a line to this machine. Okay. So so all in all, it's kind of like three motors all working together to, to do you know for that one goal. Okay. So that gets into kind of this, you know large gardens in the state areas, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. And this one here, what's this one doing? Okay, so this machine. Yes. The, the first obvious difference is it's obviously you drive it, you don't walk behind it. Yeah. So, so what's sit this on, being sit used on, for? Then? Sit on machine. So it's used, generally used for sort of larger areas. 
Um, we'd use this on bowling greens, uh, cricket pitches, uh, football grounds. Um, so, so it's just a, a little bit more of a heavier machine, if you like. Um, we've got that big plate at the bottom, you see that pushes down. Just It makes everything protected underneath when we okay. lift the probe out. Just keeps it all very, very nice. Obviously, you've just got a bit, quite a lot of power with this machine. So, And is that um, running at the same pressure and exactly it, the yeah, same principle? Yeah, it's running at exactly the same pressure. But obviously, because it's a, a drive-on thing, we could do a bigger area, bigger but, you area. know, like a, a little bit faster, if okay. you like. So. so so, the main benefits of, of carrying out the, the process with terrain are what? Um, so, where people have standing water, uh, they have standing water over their grounds. Um, when it rains, the water will sit there. Eventually, the, the grass will die off, the plants will die yeah. and stuff like that. What this does, it goes in, allows for when it's to rain, the water to go into the grounds. Uh, and, and be flushed away so you have a nice healthy ground obviously you have the benefit of the seaweed as well given the yep. nutrients that comes up through, through the soil as well jay so it's not about just clearing standing water it's about providing the right setup for the water to, to drain away and and have healthy turf going yeah, forward, it, yeah yeah it just helps with the irrigation obviously you're aerating the ground you know with trees as well you're giving them the oxygen they need around their roots um, it's 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 to deal with compaction of soil you know where diggers have gone across or for whatever reason you know some places have a high high clay soil so uh, you know naturally it doesn't drain very well so what this this will do what this will do will go in and it will, it will create fissures under the grounds when it blasts under the ground it'll create those um air gaps underground for the water to drain away jay let you get back to doing what you're supposed to do but thank you very much fascinating and finally i've got up close to these it's been years i've, I've never seen them up close before thanks again